This is the Savage Model 11 uh, Lightweight Hunter. It's a nice lightweight rifle, about five and a half pounds on the short action. Um, they did a lot of things here to really lighten it up. Um, as you can see here, they, they've lightened the forend part of the stock. It's uh, got a nice uh, trim stock on it, good thin wrist on it. The bolt has been fluted to lighten it a little bit. Also, the receiver has been lightened on both sides. Just a little bit here and there to take a little weight off of it. Got a 20 inch trim little barrel. Makes it really nice and light. Easy to carry. Easy to carry all day. On, on a, a rifle such as this, I will usually put a smaller, lighter scope. Because uh, something like a nice trim loophole 2 to 7 or such. But this chamber for the 6.5 Creedmoor, which is a dandy long range cartridge. And for, uh, for hunting, I wanted a little more power to reach way out there because the cartridge is capable of it. And I can I can hit better with more power. So I mounted this uh, loophole VXL 3.5 to 10 power. What the VXL does, which uh, somebody should have thought of this years ago. Loophole's had it out for a couple of years now. I'm going to open this up and point this right at my brother. Um, anyway, the scope is, is knocked out on the bottom to fit around the barrel so that it'll sit lower so you don't have to crane your head up off the stock and you still get the large objective uh, bail to gather a lot of light so you can shoot at dusk and at dark when game is more prevalent. Anyway, it's, it's a loophole VXL scope on here and uh, uh, this is the Savage Model 11 6.5 Creedmoor as I said which the Creedmoor is designed to work through a short action such as on this Savage. Uh, this Savage has some nice features on it uh, like I said, it's got uh, lightened up the bolt and all, which the spiral fluting really gives it a good look, too. I like it. That's just cool to me. But anyway, it's got a detachable four-shot box magazine. Makes it handy to, to load and unload um, without fooling with a floor plate dropping everywhere. Of course, it's got the excellent Savage Active Trigger, which uh, this one adjusted down to about two and a half pounds. Uh, just makes it really nice. Savage is, uh, because of them coming out with the Active Trigger many years ago, just about every rifle maker now has a decent trigger that you can get. I uh, still prefer this Accu trigger. Uh, you can set it down light and it will not accidentally go off if you drop it or whatever. Uh, it's got um, swing swivel studs, which any hunting rifle should have. Some nice checkering on this walnut stock, which really is functional. It looks good. And like I said, the trim, the trimness of the stock makes it real easy to handle, easy to carry. 20 inch barrel. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Creedmoor cartridge now. Uh, one thing about it, it's a 6.5, which uh, the 6.5s are just beautifully efficient uh, bullets. And just, if you compare, this is a 140 grain 6.5 bullet, which is real long and sleek. It's a horn of the a -max, got a ballistic coefficient of 585. Compared to this even heavier 150 grain 30 caliber bullet, which has a ballistic coefficient under 300, it's just uh, no comparison in what these long range bullets will do. The, the cartridge and the bullets were designed for long range and it um, it's real efficient at doing so. To get a 30 caliber uh, shooting this flat, you got to push a 190 grain bullet uh, to the same speeds and it takes a Magnum class rifle to do that, burning about twice as much powder and a lot more recoil. I'm shooting a lot of this horn of the ammo. I've got the two bullet weights in this. I've got the 140 grain AMAX and I've also got this 120 grain AMAX. Besides that I've been hand loading some uh, 140s and some of the good hunting bullets also uh, with a collider weight. Even the 100 Nozzlers which is a dandy little deer bullet out of the Grendel. Might be pushing a little too fast out of the Creedmoor, don't know. Ballistically this thing is almost a twin to a 260 Remington but it's got a, a slightly shorter case, slightly longer neck for handling the long bullets without encroaching on powder space. Anyway, uh, this uh, Savage has a, a bit of a short barrel and I was worried about losing too much velocity in that 20 inch barrel compared to what I've been shooting. Uh, for instance, I chronographed this same load oh, a couple of years ago out of a uh, 28 inch barrel. was pushing about 2,860 feet per second. It's about 2,790 out of this uh, 20 inch barrel. So the trade off is you're only losing about 80 feet per second, uh, losing 8 inches of barrel. So that's not bad. That's an efficient little cartridge. I thought we'd lose more than that, but it's held the, the velocity really well. 
uh, keeping the flat shooting capabilities of the Creedmoor cartridge. Dandy little hunting rifle. Uh, this light, little lightweight rifle, it's easy to carry. Uh, 20 inch barrel, makes it real handy, short overall length. Anyway, it's, uh, uh, it's lightened up every way they could. Uh, this scope is uh, a little heavier than I would usually put on it, but still, the scope and mount, this uh, 3.5-10 VXL only adds about a pound, so you still got a 6.5 pound rifle. Uh, recoil don't hurt at all, don't hurt your shoulder at all. Uh, nice, efficient little cartridge. Uh, it's got a nice butt pad on here, but uh, it's not really necessary because the cartridge just don't kick that bad. But it's an excellent little hunting cartridge, deer class game, it's just about ideal.